Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to properly take screenshots in Ubuntu. So let's get started. Okay, so before we get into using some of the GUI tools that are available, let's first go over some of the default shortcut keys to take screenshots. So the first and most obvious is to press the print screen key on your keyboard. So I'm just going to open up onboard so you can see that and it's this key here so if you press print screen we get a screenshot and we get this dialog pop up and we can either copy it to a clipboard directly or save it into any folder on our machine so i'm just going to rename it here and call it i don't know full screen and save that now the second type of screenshot we can take is a screenshot of a specific window so just going to open up a terminal window and I'm just going to put it up here and what we're going to do is just take a screenshot of this window here with no background so to do that you have to make sure that this window is selected so it's in focus which it is and if you just hold alt and press print screen so let's just do it here so alt and print screen we get a screenshot of just this window so let's just save this as current window and save that and the third type of screenshot that we can take is an area screenshot so we can define a specific area on the screen to basically capture and to do that you just hold down shift and press print screen so i'm just going to do that on my keyboard because it won't work with onboard so shift and print screen and we get this crosshair come up so we can select a specific region and release the mouse and it will save that as our screenshot so let's just save that as an area screenshot so area screenshot there we go and save that so let's just have a quick look at the screenshots that we've just taken so let's go into pictures and let's start with the area screenshot let me just exit on board there we go so as you can see the area screenshot just captured the area that we wanted to capture and this is the current window screenshot as you can see it's nicely cropped out the window for us so we don't have to go into a program like GIMP and cut it out so that's great and it's clean and this is the full screen screenshot. Now you may notice that it looks like the screen is duplicated. That's because I have two monitors. So the full screen is both monitors. That's just something to bear in mind if you have a dual monitor system. Okay, so that covers the basic three default screenshots that you can take. So you can take full screen just by pressing print screen. You can take a screenshot of a selected window by holding alt and pressing print screen and you can take a screenshot of a defined area by holding shift and pressing print screen. Now, I'm just gonna press print screen again. As you can see in this dialog, you've got this option to copy directly to clipboard. So you don't actually have to save the images anywhere. Just say you needed the images to paste into a document or into an email or somewhere else. You don't necessarily want to save the screenshot, but you just kind of need it quickly just to throw somewhere else. So what you could do is you could actually click on this, but there are some default keyboard shortcuts that you can use to actually go straight to the clipboard instead of giving you this dialogue. Now, the only difference is you hold the control key while you're doing your normal keyboard shortcuts to take a screenshot. So if I hold control and press print screen, you can see that I took a screenshot, but no dialogue popped up. So I've got GIMP open up here and I'm going to paste whatever's in the clipboard directly to GIMP. So I'm just going to hold control and press V. And as you can see, let me just get rid of onboard. As you can see, it's taken a full screen screenshot for us. So let's just exit that and discard changes. And let's try that with the focused window screenshot. So I'm just going to focus on this terminal. So I'm going to hold control while pressing alt and then print screen. And while I'm still holding control, I just release alt and print screen. 
And as you can see, it took a screenshot there. So let's paste that into the GIMP. And there you go, that's the window that we wanted. So let's just try that again quickly with a defined area. So hold control, hold down shift and press print screen and we get the crosshairs, select the area and there we go. There's our screenshot so let's paste that in and that is exactly what we wanted. So those are the default screenshot shortcut keys and you can find them just by going into the system settings and if you click on keyboard and shortcuts screenshots they're all listed here. So for 95% of the screenshots that you would take, you can easily just use the shortcut keys and that should be enough. But there are specific screenshots that you can't really use the shortcut keys for. So I'll show you one of those right now. I'm just gonna minimize the GIMP and this terminal. And I've got a web page open here. So as an example, just say I wanted to capture this window and I wanted this menu as well. So this is just the right click menu. So to screenshot just this window, all I'd have to do is hold Alt and press print screen. So if I hold Alt now, I didn't even get to press print screen and the menu disappears. So this is one of the occasions where actually using the GUI tool makes sense. So to launch it, you just need to go into your application lenses and start typing screenshot. And there we go. And this will enable us to set a delay before taking a screenshot and do quite a few other things. But let's just start with that. So we want to grab the current window and let's set the delay for three seconds, two seconds should do it probably. And yes, let's just include the window border and take the screenshot. And there we go. So if we take a look at that now we have our screenshot with the right click menu in there. So I'll just save that and call it right click menu and just save that. And let's just open up the pictures so we can have a look. There we go. We have the menu that we wanted in the screenshot. So let's just exit that. Okay, so let's get rid of all of this stuff and, and let's open up the print screen GUI again. So. I actually have a shortcut key to do this, so I'll just press that. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at some of the other things you can do with this. So let's have a look at effects. So you can see here that we can include the pointer and then we've got some of the other components of the effects pane are grayed out. These are only visible when you're actually grabbing a current window. So let's just open up a terminal, have one there. That's the current window now. And let's just include the pointer, include the window Actually, let's not include the window border and let's see what that does. So just take a quick screenshot. There we go. And we got the cursor. Um, I'm not going to bother saving this. I'm just going to copy it to the clipboard and open it in GIMP to have a look. So let's compare them side by side. As you can see, we're missing this top title bar here and we just have the internal component of the window and the mouse because we chose to include the pointer. So let's just get rid of that and discard changes. Well, we don't want to save this. Okay, so let's have a look at the other option quickly. So grab current window. Um, let's include the window border this time and let's apply an effect. So let's apply a drop shadow and take a screenshot of this. Let's copy that to the clipboard and paste it in GIMP. Now, as you can see, let me just move over to the side. We've got this kind of gap around it here. Um, there is actually a drop shadow here, but it's not very easy to see because I have a transparent background here. So I'll just add a new, let's add a white background. Okay, let's just drop that behind. And yeah, it's probably clearer on the right hand side of the window, but you can see that it's kind of gray all the way down. So let's just zoom out and let's just move it. There we go. Probably, actually I'll just make this bigger. There we go. So you can see it's got this kind of gray haze around it, which is the drop shadow. 
Okay, so there's one other screenshotting kind of trick that is only useful to know if you have more than one monitor. And you want to say, just take a screenshot of this current screen and not the entire monitor, which is both screens. Um, there are some GUI tools that you can use to do this. I can't remember off the top of my head the name of one of them. Um, but I'll drop it in the description when I find out what it was called. Um, the reason why I don't really remember what it's called is because I don't really use it. There is a simple way of actually just grabbing this screen or my second screen. And that is to hold down shift, press print screen, and we get the crosshairs. And if we just move the crosshairs over to the top left corner of the screen, you can see that it stops there. It won't go any further. So if we just hold down click, sorry, hold down left click and drag this all the way to the bottom corner. Again, it stops, it won't go any further. So release and let's just copy that to the clipboard and open it in GIMP so we can have a look at it. Uh, let's just zoom in on the corner. It's pretty much the entire screen. It's missing one pixel from the height and one pixel from the width that's it which is barely noticeable i mean if you just scroll over to the side you can see that all of the taskbar icons are present and um yeah it's effectively that single screen so for most purposes that is more than sufficient but if you really need that extra pixel i don't know why you would but if you do what you could actually do is know the resolution of your monitors and take a full screenshot like this and then, you know, I know that this left pane is going to be 1920 by 1080. So I could just create a selection box and cut that out. Or use another GUI tool that can specifically capture individual monitors. Okay, so that's brought us to the end of this tutorial on screenshots. I hope you found it useful. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.